back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Janae. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how I styled my entryway table coming into my living room. I'm going to show you three different ways to style it. I am using a lot of the stuff that I picked up this year and then I am incorporating some things that I had from last year. So I really just wanted to be able to show you guys several different ways on how you can style these items. Because I know you guys really enjoyed my decor haul and thank you so much for the support. It means everything to me. I am trying my hardest to grow this channel. So every like and subscribe and comment just really means everything to me. So thank you so much. And yeah, let's just get right on into the video guys. Before hanging this Morpho garland, I lined the mirror with these adhesive hooks that I picked up from Home Depot. I actually picked up two of these garlands this year, but I'm only going to be using one. I went with the asymmetrical style because I'm really loving that look on entryway mirrors. I just think it looks so chic. All I did was I took the stem and attached it to the hooks and then I feathered it out until I got it to look the way that I wanted it to. For that layering effect, I am adding these ceramic bells. I'm using one strand and just looping it around to give it a cascading look. I think this adds the perfect amount of contrast and I love the way that the ceramic complements the color of the green. It just looks so good together. To the other side, I'm starting off with this white ceramic base that I picked up from Target. I got this last year, but I do think they still have it available. So if I can find it, I will be sure to link it down below for you guys. And then I'm adding these Norfolk Pine stems. I got these in a set of four from Wayfair and I really love these. They're so realistic looking. Right next to that vase, I added this gorgeous rustic tree. If you watched my last video, you saw that I picked this up in a set of two, but I am only using the large one for this look. And then in the center, I am using Shea McGee's new The Art of Home Book. It is such a beautiful book from its size to its color. It has quickly become my new favorite coffee table book. And then to finish this corner off, I'm placing these two reindeer that I picked up this year from Pottery Barn. I am using the medium and the small size. To the other side, I added this candlestick holder that I got from Target. It is such a perfect dupe for the McGee Co. one. And then to that, I added these two faux tapered candlesticks that I recently picked up from Amazon. These are such a good find. Not only do they look super realistic, but you get a set of six of them for such a great price. Behind that, I placed this easel that I got from McGee & Co. And then to that, I added this picture to it. The frame is from Target and the print I just downloaded from Etsy and printed it out at my local CVS. I also wanted to add a little something to this candlestick holder, so I trimmed a few of my cedar stems that I had and placed one on top and one below. I just felt like this gave it more of that Christmas feel. Another recent purchase for me this year is this beautiful bell candle that I found at Home Goods. I love the green tones and I felt like this was the perfect addition to this look. This next item is my absolute favorite find this year. This is a candle warmer. It just came in the mail yesterday. I ordered it from Amazon. I am just so obsessed with it and I will definitely be purchasing one for my bedroom. And then to that, I added this three wick candle that I picked up from Bath and Body Works and it's in this scent coffee and whiskey. Again, to add a little Christmas vibe, I added some cinnamon sticks that I had laying around and a flocked little cute pine cone that I added to the other corner. I 
felt like this table needed some dimension, so I took this little bell ornament that I got from Target, trimmed off some more of those cedar stems, and added this suede ribbon that I got from Amazon, and created this cute little DIY swag decoration. I took some wire that I had laying around, I bent both ends, and hooked one of the ends into the top of the ribbon and then I just hooked the other end into the drawer and this created the perfect little touch that I was looking for. To that basket I added these logs that I have had a, for a couple years now. I got these from I think Crate and Barrel like two years ago. I know you can find these type of logs anywhere but I added two of those to this basket and then to the basket on the right hand side. Here is my cat who completely interrupted this video. But to the other side of that, I added this blanket that I picked up from World Market and I thought the checker looked was just the perfect touch. I wanted to add a little bit of color and just some dimension and texture to this and I felt like this was the perfect blanket for that. For look number two, I am adding this lamp. I've had this for a few years now. I picked it up from Target. Then I lean two coffee table books vertically against that lamp. I love the way that books look styled like this. And then to that, I added a set of three Christmas trees. I wanted these to act as bookends. The taller brown one is from Home Goods, and the two white ceramic ones are from Target. And then in the center, I am using that Shea McGee book again. And then I placed some more of those cedar stems right on top. Then I added these twist candlestick holders that I picked up from McGee & Co. I've used these in several looks. I just love them. Then I just went in and placed the same faux tapered candlesticks that I got from Amazon. I did place a little bit of foil on there just to make them sit up straight, but I loved it. Over on the other side, I placed this large vase that I picked up from Arhas. I did, did get this on major sell. It took like six months to ship, but it was so worth it. It's huge and I like the texture and I think the tones just went perfect with this look. And then I added some moss filler to the inside and I took this tree that I recently picked up from Target. It's from the Studio McGee line and I took it out of the pot that it came in and then just placed it right on top of that filler in the pot and just feathered out the stems to get them to how I liked it.
for some visual interest, I placed this oversized frame. I love this frame. It's from Target. I do believe it's still available. And to the center of that, I just added another Etsy print. And then over to those candlesticks, just to finish off this look, I tied some ribbon around them. It's that same suede ribbon that I showed you earlier. And I just made a bow around each candlestick. I just love bows. I think they are just the perfect touch to finish off any look and make it look a little more Christmassy. Final look, I kept that same Norfolk garland draped over to one side and I replaced these ceramic bells with these beautiful gold bells that I got from McGee Co. I'm debating picking up another set because I just love them so much. Then I placed this large rustic vase to the other side and inside that I just placed a smaller vase and I did this to keep my stems a little more upright. I went in with the same Norfolk pine stems. I did use all four again and I just placed them in that smaller vase to make them stand up a little taller. I wanted this look to be a little more rustic, so I added these really tall sticks that I grabbed from Target, and I added three of those. with this berry stem that I grabbed from Target from the Hearth and Hand line and I just placed that right in the center. I did want for this look, I wanted to add a pop of color. I know we all love our neutrals. I love my neutrals too, but I feel like Christmas is the perfect time just to incorporate a little bit of color and I felt like these were the perfect thing to do that. Center, I added this bowl that I've had for a couple years now and to that I added these beautiful oversized gold rustic ornaments. I got three of them and I got these from World Market. I love them. And then to bring in that Christmas look, I again went in with those cedar stems and just trimmed off a few pieces of those and placed those right on the side of that. Over on the right hand side I placed two coffee table books and on top of that I added these cute little reindeer that I DIY'd with some wax paint and then I added this 
candle. This candle's so pretty. I just recently picked it up from Home Goods. It's in like this bubble texture. And then I wanted to incorporate again some color, so I added these cute little apple candles that I found at Target. Over on the other side, I added three gold tall candlestick holders that I picked up from Amazon. And I placed these really pretty red twist candlesticks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I felt like these were the perfect thing to tie in that pop of color that I had incorporated on the other side. I went in with that same rustic tree that I showed you earlier, but this time I'm using both of them in the set. I got a medium and a small. And then to finish off this look, I added one of my favorite blankets. This is the faux fur blanket from Pottery Barn. I do think this blanket's on sale right now, so I will be sure to have it linked below. It's so soft and such good quality, and I just love the way that it tied this whole look in. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gives you some inspiration and some tips and tricks and ideas on how to style your decor this year. And again, please hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video. I do appreciate the support. And yeah, stay tuned for my next video. I am gonna be showing you guys how I styled my floating shelves in my living room. So I'm excited for that one. All right, thanks guys, bye.